The key theme of the 2014 federal budget announced this evening was one of self-reliance. Uh, self-reliance for industry and organisations, self-reliance for individuals, and over the course of the forward estimates, a reduction in the size of government. Back to this theme of self-reliance, um, you know, through a number of measures, clearly that's going to apply now and for the long-term future. Well, in respect of business and investors, we don't really expect that we're any surprises in the budget. We do see opportunities for business and investors going forward, uh, particularly as it relates to the establishment of the Medical Research Endowment Fund, uh, the establishment of an infrastructure investment program, and also an emphasis and encouragement around innovation more broadly, um, particularly in higher education and the training of uh, trade skills. Uh, so lots of opportunities for uh, businesses, um, opportunities for investors over the course of the next five to ten years. Um, also from a workforce perspective we see that there are opportunities for employers to think strategically about uh, how they um, address the issue of uh, skilled labour supply and also how they address the issue of uh, employing an older workforce for much longer. Well, for Australia's retirement saving system, there are a number of measures that need to be understood and people need to be alert to. The first is an increase in the superannuation guarantee from the 1st of July this year uh, to be held through to the year 2018 at a rate of 9.5%. Um, so that will mean a change for individuals, employers and super funds. Secondly, uh, with the deficit reduction levy, there's an opportunity for people to be reminded about the superannuation contribution caps that are available to them and making sure that they consider uh, using them to the full extent. Um, the third issue is an announced uh, future change to the eligibility age for the age pension uh, to 70 years of age from uh, the year 2035. Uh, this means that individuals need to uh, be more self-reliant. They need to think about providing for themselves and their families more so than the government providing uh, access to the age pension at an earlier age. Uh, and also for employers, they need to think about how do they retain and engage and um, productively employ uh, older workers who are living for uh, much longer in the future. 